Here comes, here comes, and got it. Hi, I'm Destiny. What are clouds made of? All right, everyone to stations. Danny, what do you have? Okay, clouds are formations in the sky made up of drops of water and small pieces of ice. They can help tell us about the weather, which is what the air is like outside. Mm. And when the small pieces of water and the clouds join together, they form precipitation. And depending on the temperature of the air, precipitation could be rain or hail or sleet or snow. And the clouds can take different shapes. Just look up. I think Haley's trying to find some different types of clouds right now. Hey, Rob! I can't quite see. Whoa! Too close. All right. Let's get out of this fog. Okay, this is much better. Now there are three basic types of clouds. The first are stratus clouds, which form large flat layers that cover the sky like a blanket. Now it can make for a pretty gray day, but if the weather conditions are right and they're low enough to the ground, they can form fog like we were just in. Okay, let's go. Okay, these soft, pillowy looking clouds out here are cumulus clouds. Now, if there's a lot of moisture in the air, these clouds can form as high as 18,000 meters. And they can make some of the coolest shapes for cloud watching. Oh look, there's the last type. Cirrus clouds form very high up and they're made of icy crystals. They often indicate an approaching storm. In fact, I see some right now, so I better get back to the clubhouse. <laughs> so we learned that clouds are made of tiny drops of water and small pieces of ice. And they can tell us what the air is like outside. Mm, and whether hot or cold, the weather is always changing and so are the clouds. Yeah, so keep your eyes on the weather and never stop exploring your world. <laughs> <laughs>